Hey, let's talk about wigs. I'm wearing a wig. It's a little bit obvious that it's a wig because it's kind of wiggy looking. Most wigs have too much hair. So that's a big problem with them. You have probably, if you were like me, you have probably looked at gray wigs and you've seen a lot of these ombre wigs. And I immediately dismissed them. I, I looked at them and I went, I love this color, but this dark is just too dark to put on my head. My hair doesn't grow that dark. Yeah. Oh, where did the wig cap go? Ha! That came off. So let me show you a little something. Looks a lot less glamorous without the hair, doesn't it? There we go. You walk into a wig store, you put on a wig cap, and you feel super pretty right away. We've all seen these ombre wigs, and these are terrific if you've got dark hair and you want to try out any hair color because you can put on an ombre wig, you could put on a pink wig with dark roots and it's gonna sell because the roots match your own hair. But that sucks for those of us who don't have dark roots. You know, the blondes, the brunettes, the redheads, the grays, the silvers. And when he brought this wig to me a couple of days ago and I put it on, I went, yeah, gosh, that's super fun. And would be fun for like, Halloween, because it just, that color is just way too dark on me. And I know it's gonna be perfect on many, many, many people. I'm just not that person. So I was fussing around with it and I just went like this. Now this wig, if it were mine, I'd put some, I'd sew some clips in it. I don't own it, it's a loner. So I don't have any clips in it. But look how easy that is to make this wig look like it belongs on my head. So that is my styling tip for my silver haired ladies today. Those of you who are growing out your gray and you have that white stripe on the top of your head that is becoming one inch, two inches, three inches, four inches, and you're feeling that frustration, I'm willing to bet that if you got an ombre wig like this and then you pulled your own hair out, let's imagine that this hair was still dyed dark brown from here down. I think it's still gonna sell. I think you're gonna have just this, this riot of all these different colors, and I think it's a really, really fun opportunity. So thank you, Byron, for loaning me this ombre wig so I could try it out, and thank you for being able to allow me to share this with everyone, because I got a lot of silver-haired ladies who would like to know what wigs work for them, and it's hard to find a good silver wig out there. But this was a loner. I am very fortunate in a friend of mine who has been my friend for 30 plus years. We did theater together back in San Luis Obispo, my hometown where I'm from, Pismo Beach. We were with Pacific Light Opera Theater. We did all these community theater productions before either of us moved to LA. And Byron moved to LA right around the same time I did, but we lost touch. He kept, he went down his theater path. I went down my film path. And then we reconnected recently. Byron is a wig designer. And that means he creates the wigs for big stage productions of like Hairspray and Dream Girls. And he has a gazillion wigs and he's willing to loan them to me. So if you see me wearing a wig and you like it, I can't drop the link down below because I don't know how to get it, but he does. Hit him up. I'll put his information down below. It's Wigs by Byron. If there is a wig that you have in mind, a style that you have been wanting, but you don't know how to find it, hit up Byron. 
I'm not gonna say it's gonna be the cheapest wig in the world, but if you want a certain style and you've been frustrated shopping around looking for it, you've got a wig guy to go to. You have an expert to ask. I'm giving you my wig guy. So hit up Byron if you are interested in purchasing any of the wigs that you've been seeing me wear, or if you have a particular wig style that you are interested in obtaining, but you don't know where to get it, he's your guy. Hope you're enjoying my videos. Please subscribe. I'll talk to you later.